So the concealer that I've been obsessed with lately is by e.l.f. This is their Tone Correcting Concealer. The packaging's already coming off because I use it so much. This is in the color Apricot Beige. And e.l.f. really needs to make their packaging, like, the um, words bigger because you can't read anything. <laughs> um, and the primer I've been using, I never used a primer before this year because I didn't really wear eyeshadow that much. But this is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer. And I think everyone has heard of this. Um, I think the most popular one is Urban Decay's, but this is the exact same thing. This is only a dollar. The other thing's like twelve, thirteen dollars or something. This is just in the color sheer, so it's just sheer. And now, hmm, I'll do powders and bronzers. So the powder I've been using lately is the Elf Clarifying Press Powder because this stuff's amazing, and it was only a dollar. And it just looks like this. I've used tons of it. Um, I don't know. It's just awesome. This is in the color light beige. I don't even know why I try to hold this up to the camera because there's no way in heck you'll be able to see it. Um, okay. The powder I used for the longest time, which I think I'm going to start using again during the summer because right now it's a little light for me. I mean dark for me. My bad. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color Cool, Third, third Cool, oh no, um, it looks like that. It's too dark for my skin right now because I just swatched it and it's like way darker than my skin. But I love this stuff, I used it for the longest time, um, but then it, then I became lighter skinned, light, what? I became paler or less tan or whatever so I couldn't use this so I started using this one but yeah so those are my two powders and for my bronzer I show this like all the time because I'm obsessed with it um I do want to try a new bronzer I want to try the Wet n Wild um bronzer and goddess because I've heard tons of good things about that this is well, this is NYC's smooth skin bronzing face powder yeah, it looks like that. And the back looks like that. And it's in 720A Sunny, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to explain how this is amazing <laughs> because I just want to. Um, this bronzer, okay. I feel like the most popular high end bronzer is um, Lag Nars Laguna, I think it is. Um, this is the same thing pretty much, but this is $3 instead of like 50 something dollars. Um, this looks really orange compared to my skin, but trust me, it's not orange. It's a very nice um, tan color, and I just use a big fluffy brush and put it all over my face, and there's no shimmer in this, which is awesome because when you have shimmer on your face, it brings out your imperfections, and it also makes um, your skin look shiny, which also makes it look greasy. So. This is a great bronzer. And now I'm going to move on to brushes. I'm trying to find my other brush I like just used this morning. See, this is why I can't do favorite videos because I can never find the stuff I want to show you guys. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I'm going to do the face brushes first. So the first one, I recently got this for Christmas um, in a little package. And this is the Essential Beauty Collection. And the brush looks like that. Very pretty and, um, very pretty? What? Very, like, it's very soft, but it also picks up pigment really well. Um, at first I didn't think it did, but then I put a lot of blush on it and I put it on my face and I was like, oh, I guess it does. Um, but yeah, this is a great brush. It's very soft and it's much softer than the next brush I'm going to show you because this one came in a kit and I'm guessing it was more than a dollar. Um, but this one is ELF's Essential, no, ELF Professional Total Face Brush. It looks like this. I used this for a really long time. I'm only putting this in my yearly, fa the yearly favorites because I used it before I got this brush. This brush is very, very, um, 
I don't know. It sheds like a ton. Um, it sheds a lot and it's very harsh feeling on your face. It's not very soft like this one. Like maybe you can tell the difference just looking at them. But you can tell this one's soft and this one's like bristly. Like I don't know. I don't like this brush anymore. I used it because I thought that's how the brush was supposed to be. But you can even see that it's all like, I don't know. I don't like this brush, but I'm putting it in my favorites because I did use it pretty much all year until I got this one. This one is definitely my new favorite. Okay, so now, ow. <laughs> um, so now for my um, eyeshadow brushes. The first one I have, these are all from e.l.f. except my crease brush. So... The first one I have is just a flat shader brush. Just this eyeshadow brush, but it's a flat shader brush. Um, so, it looks like this. And I just... I use this like every single day whenever I use eyeshadow. I use this. Um, and then what I use... What does this say it's for? It says it's for just this eyeshadow brush. But on the packaging, I said it was a crease brush. But I'm pretty sure this is not a crease brush. I mean, blending brush, it said. Um, I don't know, it's like a, it's a dense kind of flat shader brush, but I sometimes use this to blend out my crease. And then the third brush I use, this is just like the Target brand, I don't know, and it's just their crease brush. It looks like that, and I just use that to put color in my crease. So, I love those brushes. Now, I'll do... Hmm. I'll do um, my mascara. So the first thing I have, which has to do with mascara, is this curling what eyelash curler from e.l.f. And yeah, it's just their dollar eyelash curler. This is amazing. Um, I love it. Um, I also need to go to Target to pick up some more false eyelashes because I'm going to start wearing them because I cannot stand mascara. Because it's just... Ugh. I don't even know. It just takes forever. Like, you have to curl them and to put on, like, 20 pounds of mascara because my eyelashes are short and, like, I don't know, they don't curl. Like, they'll curl for a while and then by the end of the day they'll just go flat again. And that's not that eyelash curler's fault, it's just I have the worst eyelashes ever. Um, but yeah, so I really like that eyelash curler, but I need to start wearing false lashes because it's easier. I'm going to, like, curl my lashes and then put the lashes on because... I don't know. I love false eyelashes, and um, Chow Bella XO, I think is her um, username, Meg. She wears false eyelashes, and she had the same problem as me. Like, well, she had good eyelashes. She just got so bored of putting on mascara every single day that false eyelashes were just easier for her. So I think I'm going to start wearing those because it's faster and they're like really pretty. So for mascara, the ones I've been using our CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion and this is just the purple one obviously and um, I love this I don't like the orange one okay everyone says that the orange one and the purple one are the same I don't think they are because I hate the orange and I love the purple um, I don't know but I love the purple one um, the packaging so like big and like oh no I like the packaging um it's just in the color very black and it's a good mascara it's about seven dollars I think and this one is my new favorite <sighs> sorry for my yawning um this is Maybelline's Colossal Volume Express and this is in the color waterproof wait what it's in the color Okay, I cannot read. What does that say? Classic black. There we go. It's... You guys probably can't even see it. It's like... The bottom's like black and the writing's like dark teal. Like... Anyway, um... Classic black. Looks like that. And the brush is like... I don't know. I like the brush. It's nice and um, thick, and it makes your lashes, la lashes, lashes, makes your lashes very um, volumized and 
very like boom. I don't know. I don't know how to explain things. I'm like, it's very boom, but it doesn't help. Now the last two things I have, uh, how long is this video? Oh my god, it's 30 minutes long. Um, are these two things for my lips. And the first thing I have is this palette. I don't know what it is. It's um, Paint Box Lip Collection Brush of Pink. I used this in a tutorial before. Um, I'm wearing one of these colors today. If I could open this. I'm wearing this dark like wine color today. And I don't know. I really like this palette. There's the red. Because it's just it's very pigmented, but it's not like it's not like super glossy. But what I put over it is what I use every single day on my lips, like and I will use it for the rest of my life. This is the Vaseline just Vaseline brand Vaseline, which would make sense. Um and I just use this and put it over my lipstick because it let, bleh, it helps it stay all day and it also is a chapstick. So it's a chapstick, a lip gloss, and like a stay in placer. I don't even know. But I love this stuff. Um, I haven't used a lot of it, which is a shock. Bleh, which is a shock. Um, but I love this stuff. And it also works for burns because this has nothing to do with favorites because having a burn is not my favorite thing but um I have a burn on my arm don't know if you can see it I think it's right there um but I put this vaseline on it because it said for minor cuts and burns and um it the next day it was like starting to heal already so that's a really good product um so yeah those are my favorites for 2011 and I can't wait to see what 2012 brings. Hopefully the world won't end, which I don't think it will. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.